No doubt fish can be a healthy addition to your diet. It is delicious and provides you with many essential nutrients and is a perfect source of omega-3 fatty acids. According to American Dietary Guidelines, we are supposed to be eating fish twice a week, but there is also a danger of high levels of mercury PCBs and environmental concern. So, how to choose the best fish that is good for you and the environment? Don't worry, we have got you covered in today's video. We will share with you the six healthiest fish to eat and the seven to avoid. So here are the six healthiest fish to eat. Number one, salmon. Salmon wild caught, including canned. This versatile fish is renowned for being one of the best sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Wild caught salmon is preferred over farmed due to less exposure to contaminants and pollutants. Canned salmon is also an excellent option. If you do not want to get it fresh, it makes a fantastic fit in any healthy, nutritious diet. It is good news for those on a low carb diet since salmon contains no carbohydrates unless you add sauces or condiments and it is still a rich source of all essential minerals and vitamins that your body requires daily. A delicious way to consume salmon is by adding it to soup or stew or even whipping up a batch of salmon cakes using canned salmon. Either way, it gives you immense nutritional benefits. Remove the skin to further decrease the contaminants and carcinogens. Number 2. Herring Herring has the highest omega-3 fatty acids content compared to most fish. The omega-3 fatty acid is essential to the human body for many cellular functions. However, our body cannot synthesize this nutrient independently, so it is needed from external sources. Another plus point of herring fish is that it has a lower mercury content. It contains other valuable nutrients like vitamin D and selenium nutrition. Experts recommend incorporating this fish into your regular diet to keep cardiovascular problems at bay. It is also an excellent superfood for pregnant women since it reinforces brain development. Befriend your local fishmonger to help figure out the best methods of sourcing your favorite fish. It has many small bones in them. They can be eaten and serve as a source of calcium. But if you don't like bones, you can cut the herring open and debone it before cooking. You can use this fish in many courses or side snacks, and it will taste delicious. Number three, sardine. Sardines wild caught, including canned. Did you know that sardines were named after Sardinia, an Italian island? It is because of the abundance which was found there. They can be enjoyed fresh or canned but many people use the canned version due to its high perishability. Sardines are particularly beneficial to pregnant women and older adults since they contain calcium and other vital nutrients. The vitamin D, B12 and omega-3 fatty acids present help prevent heart diseases thanks to their anti-inflammatory characteristic. Sardines also contain protein and numerous minerals such as niacin, iron, potassium, magnesium, zinc, and phosphorus. This versatile food can be used in salads, crackers, or as the main course meal. However, individuals with uric acid or kidney issues should be wary of sardines and always discuss them with the doctor before eating the fish. Number four, rainbow trout. Rainbow trout and some types of lake trout Rainbow trout is low in mercury and sustainable fish and is deemed the best choice by the Food and Drug Administration. It is a beautiful, colorful fish with rich content of omega-3 fatty acids. It is an excellent source of protein for those who do not eat poultry or meat. It is high in potassium, which is sure to aid in managing blood pressure, kidney disorders, stress and anxiety. Another important mineral present in rainbow trout is phosphorus. It helps maintain the integrity of bones and facilitates an effective digestive system. The B-complex vitamins in it play a significant role in cell metabolism. Selenium acts as an antioxidant, preventing damage from free radicals to the human body. Rainbow trout is delicious when sided with oven-roasted vegetables, grilled vegetables, potatoes, fresh green salad and rice. Number five, Atlantic mackerel. Atlantic mackerel. If you are a fan of mackerel fish, opt for the Atlantic mackerel instead of king mackerel. Due to its lower mercury content, these little fish are a significant source of nutrition in addition to being high in protein and healthy fats. Atlantic mackerel also consists of vitamin B12, 
iron, potassium and selenium. It also contains vital antioxidants that keep you energetic and prevent heart disease. The best part is that the gear used for catching Atlantic mackerel fish is super effective and unlikely to cause significant habitat destruction, making it an ocean-friendly option. According to the FDA, it is okay to eat Atlantic mackerel two or more times a week. It makes a very delectable meal. When Atlantic mackerel is paired with steamed rice and tender steamed broccoli, the simplest way to cook mackerel is by just pan frying the fillets or barbecuing. Number six, tuna, skipjack and albacore. While some types of tuna are high in mercury, skipjack and albacore tuna are relatively low in mercury and high in protein, omega-3s, and various vitamins and minerals We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video, and here we are with 7 fish to avoid. Number 1. Sharks Sharks contain high levels of mercury. The FDA recommends avoiding the consumption of shark meat due to its high mercury levels. Shark meat has been shown to carry levels of toxic metals such as mercury that far exceed what is allowable for human consumption. This is because sharks absorb mercury from the water and store it in their bodies, making them a significant source of mercury exposure for humans. Number two, tilapia. It is one of the most dangerous fish to consume. Farmed tilapia is often fed with animal feces, which can increase the risk of cancer by 10 times more than wild caught fish. Not only that, but tilapia are more prone to disease due to overcrowding in fish pens and farm owners give them antibiotics to prevent illness. These chemicals can be harmful to human health when ingested. Tilapia are treated with pesticides to control sea lice, a common problem in fish farming. These chemicals can also be harmful to human health. They contain dioxin, a toxic chemical linked to the development and progression of cancer and other serious health problems. A study has also found that tilapia contains more omega-6 fatty acids than omega-3 fatty acids, which can increase the risk of inflammation and other health problems. Tilapia from China, which supplies most of the world's tilapia, may be contaminated with harmful substances like mercury, dioxin, and PCBs. The FDA has turned away some shipments of tilapia and other fish from China due to safety concerns, but it's unclear how many contaminated fish are still being sold in the market. However, please keep in mind that not all tilapia is created equal, and some farms may have better practices than others. However, the risks associated with eating tilapia make it a fish that should be approached with caution. Number three, halibut wild-caught Atlantic halibut does not contain many omega-3 fatty acids. Other concerns are that halibut has high mercury levels and purine content, Purine breaks down in the body to ultimately form uric acid, contributing to gout and kidney stones. Another unsafe compound that it may contain is toxic industrial chemicals, such as polychlorinated biphenyls due to its low population. It has been overfished and now earned its place on the avoid list. It is not expected to repopulate until the year 2056. Opt for the farm-raised halibut instead of the overfished Atlantic halibut to improve the environment. Number four, orange ruffy. These fish are undoubtedly nutritious with low carbohydrate levels, but do not be hasty in buying this fish because it has some drawbacks as well, also known as slime head. These fish have a life of almost 150 years or more. It means they have been around long enough to consume plenty of unhealthy elements, like mercury high mercury levels can interfere with normal brain function and are particularly dangerous for lactating or expecting mums as well as infants. Another concern is that orange ruffy is overfished and most restaurants refuse to serve it apart from stock concerns. Orange ruffy is caught by bottom trawling. It ends up destroying seafloor species assemblages and fragile seamount habitats. Number five, farmed salmon farmed in Penns Atlantic. Atlantic salmon contributes to pollution and interspecies mixing polluting the surrounding environment with fish waste. Excess fish feed medicines given to fish and cleaning chemicals used for cleaning fish pens, they are often treated with antibiotics to combat diseases and sea lice. Farmed salmon are given a processed high protein and high fat diet to make them unnaturally larger. They contain fewer nutrients compared to wild caught salmon and have higher fat content fishery advisors continuously work on consumer pressure to encourage fish farms to adopt better farming practices. Number six, bluefin tuna. Bluefin tuna contains high mercury levels and PCBs, so the ECF discourages consuming this fish. The Worldwide Wildlife Fund WWF stated, 
Bluefin tuna is an endangered species and warned that the fish population is depleting as it is overfished. Instead, you can substitute it with tinned sardines or even organic tinned chicken. Number seven, king mackerel. King mackerel is a particularly brilliant source of omega-3s to be incorporated into your regular diet. However, king mackerel, which is caught in the Pacific Ocean, is full of mercury. King mackerel is a vast predator fish closest to the top of a food chain consuming excessively oily fish. Like king mackerel can impact the body's capacity to fight against bacterial infections. All fish advisories say that children pregnant, breastfeeding women and the elderly should avoid this fish. This list might change over time because the industry is changing unless there is proper management. There can be a severe depletion rebound in a few years if ever in doubt check Monterey Bay Aquarium, Seafood Watch or NOAA Fisheries for detailed updates on various fisheries tracked by the US government. Overall, fish is a highly healthy nutritious food and a delight to the taste buds and you should add it to your diet. If you find this video informative or helpful, let us know in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy. Until next time, take care and adios.